Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Those guys that follow me know that I do handyman jobs. So, did an outside tap yesterday, and the old deer went nuts when it cost her $25. And I said, well, I mean, I've got to come out here, I carry all the stuff around with me, and I'm not here to, yeah, to work for free. And I supplied all the parts as well for 25 bucks. So, I had all the gear out, and I thought, see, fixing tap washers is one of those jobs that can cost an awful lot. I know guys that charge $180 to come out and do a set. And it's not that difficult. Most of the time it's pretty simple. So I'm going to go through it in step-by-step -step stages for you and show you some options. Now, most of the times it's just a washer, okay? So when you're going to buy washers, don't buy the the two for a dollar type okay guys just buy a decent quality washer because there's nothing worse than doing the same job twice so get something like this okay and often you can buy them as a kit now this is a reseating kit so we'll get that later but you probably won't need that just a basic tap set I mean for me obviously it makes sense to buy them in in bulk but we don't need that so to work with today I've got this outside tap all taps basically work the same way. The water flows in. The water pressure is what actually holds the tap into the seat. So like this. So most of these half inch are all pretty much the same. So the, the design will change, the depth will change, and the handles, there's a myriads of those. So you get all these strange adapters. But if you're just dealing with one at home, you'll, you won't need to worry about that much. So, I'll get this one apart and show you the basic uh, parts involved and we'll work from there. Okay guys, so I've had the spanner on this. Now this particular unit, inside this spindle, this guy here, the threads have gone on it. So, get to this point of tightening and it just loosens off and starts running again. So, in this case, this spindle needs replacing with another unit there. So this is a, uh, a soft clothes or anti-hammer type washer, don't recommend them. So inside here, there is a little rubber seal. Now this rubber seal only comes under pressure when the tap is on. So the water's obviously coming th into the system here. It comes up here at the seat. Now the seats can wear, and we'll get into that then it flows out here. So what I'm going to do, I'll cut one of these in half to show you in side view of what's going on. But we'll, uh, we'll film that out of order. So in, in the perfect world, all you would need to do is put a new washer in and reassemble with a, uh, a new gasket. So they, they do come in different sizes, so depending on which you have. So this was obviously the larger of the two. So don't be a cheapie and try and put thread tape and stuff like that. If it needs a new washer, put a new washer in. Okay. So like everything else in life, there's always a few tricks to it. This is probably not the best example to use. So if your tap's in situ, in situ like this, as it would be in your kitchen or like that, and you think, oh yeah, I'll drop a new washer in, and you'll go, cool, and it'll fall out. So, sit it in there first, now extend the spindle out so that it lines up first. Now, obviously it won't close now, but it's lined up. Then open your tap and then screw it down. Yeah. I know guys that use a adobo of uh, like hydro seal grease to hold it in place, but just open it. Just close it first and then open it to allow you an easy job to line up. Okay. 
you may need needle noses. Sometimes these expand so much. Not so much these days with leather washers used to expand and you'd be fighting to get this out. So make sure that all the traces of the washer are removed. Okay. So if this seat and this one's not too bad, I'll take a still photo if I can. It's time to recut a seat. So you can hire a tool like this. There are hand operated ones if you're only going to do an odd job. The hand ones are fine. My dad used one forever. Yeah, but basically I need one of those. So uh, I'll show you how to uh, to cut a new seat. Well, to, to clear this surface up. We'll do that next. Okay, guys, this is the carbide cutter. So it's threaded to take the spindle. That'll hold it square. And this cutter head here will run around the tap seat. So it'll just drop in there like that. Okay. And it'll turn. Now I'll turn this with a cordless drill on low speed. So you're not, there's no race for this, by the way. You want to remove the least metal possible. So you don't need to disconnect it. Okay. So I'll see if I can get the camera to see in there. So it's starting to clean it up. There's still a few low spots. If you can see in there like that. So I'll give it a few more rotations. I'm not putting a huge amount of pressure on. The carbide cut is much harder. Almost there. So as you can see, at the six o'clock position there, it still needs a little bit more. It shows you how badly used this tap was. Okay guys, <clears throat> it's all nice clean metal there. There's still still a, a lip on it as in a ridge, so that'll be fine to go. At a certain point, if that gets so worn down, you're gonna need to deploy a stainless steel kit like this. So this is basically a, a complete new seat that you crank in. Uh, when I bought this, it was ten dollars for a pair. So basically, you just crank using the spindle to crank down a new seat. So there's another option for you. Okay, guys, there's the original washing. Of course, it's different to all the ones I have. When you do enough of these jobs, you end up with a sort of a, a vast collection of odd-sized washers. But looking at at this, there's a little ridge here. So this one, this one's a perfect fit. You could use that one if you're not worried about seeing the washer on the outside, but that's fine. So <coughs> for demonstration purposes only, this is one of the dollar store washers I wouldn't recommend. There's our line. So we would thread that down. Okay, turn it off. It works. Then we'll uh, go outside and uh, turn the water supply back on and go and test it. 
So it's no, it's not rocket science. I mean, yes, there are various designs in that, but they all work the same way. So this is the inside tap spindle. Okay. Now, change this washer. Simple enough. I recommend that. I also recommend that you grease these for a long life. So while you're in there, you might as well grease it and change that spindle there. No matter what the design is, they all, even these ones with a fixed tap, they always come out far enough that you can get at that with a, uh, a screwdriver or a small pair of pliers and I'll use a needle nose snap and just snap it out and lubricate around here and just roll on a new one into the groove and make sure the old one's out of course and simple as. So I'll show you, I'm going to cut the spindle apart to show you what the problems is. Basically it's our hard water here in Western Australia. It can destroy these fittings. So if someone tells me they can't turn the tap off, very occasionally it's a broken washer, but most of the time this is gone. So if you're going to replace one at home, take it with you because You get different lengths, sizes, and some have threads on the outside for tap fittings, you know, the covers. Some don't. And uh, it's far better off to take the, the right one with you than have to do multiple trips down to the hardware store. Anyway guys, I'm going to cut this apart, and I might cut this in cross-section just to show you guys how it actually works because understanding how something works really helps you fix stuff and understand what you are actually doing okay guys at a soaring good time but I think it's worthwhile to explain it visually understanding something's the first thing about fixing something so this one as you can see here all the threads are chomped out so also Look at the taper on these threads, that's why it wouldn't close off. Really, that's what it should look like. So that part was well and truly shot. Okay. So here comes our water, our water flows in here, and it's held in by the tap washer there. Okay. So the water pressure is what pushes the tap into its seat, and holds it in its seat. So we've explained how to put a new one in. So here's our seat that we cut earlier. With a nice clean surface for the washer. So it's all pretty straightforward stuff guys. Just remember to turn the water off before you touch anything with a spanner. And um, let me know if this content helps you out. And don't forget to like and subscribe if my content helps you out. It helps me out. And I shall see you next time.